the Americans have created a new light tank. In the United States, a tender for the supply of light tanks to the Army has recently ended. It would seem that the thing is not the most interesting, but very important in reality, it opens up a new path for the development of armored vehicles of the NATO countries, which will significantly affect the course of future wars. Not without reason, for this order, two of the world's most powerful arms manufacturers B Systems and General Dynamics clashed, each of which offered a worthy competitor, but the victory went to the Americans, that is, GD, and B, if you didn't know, the British giant. What is a light tank and why is it needed? The term light tank has been forgotten since the Second World War, when this term, as a rule, marked vehicles lighter in mass than medium tanks, but heavier than wedges. They were distinguished from medium tanks by bulletproof armor, and from tankettes, essentially machine gun tanks, by the presence of any kind of cannon armament of 37 or 45 47 mm caliber, or automatic guns. The element of light tanks, in theory, is operations at operational depth. That is, after the defense is broken through, Units of light tanks quickly disperse along the enemy's communications, they smash headquarters, communication centers, warehouses, so that in the end the enemy loses combat capability, gets surrounded and is defeated. That is, it turns out something like injecting medicine through a syringe, where heavy tanks act as a needle, and lungs act as medicines. It was understood that the units in the rear were poorly equipped with anti-tank weapons, so armor was not really needed but speed was needed. But the Second World War made amendments, giving the palm to more versatile medium tanks, and then the development branch went towards MBTs, main tanks, such as the T-72 or Abrams. Anti-tank weapons have become more effective and diverse. Further, special tanks fell under the category of light, for example, amphibious, Soviet PT-76, or airborne, American M551 Sheridan. Well, then the BMP appeared, as a hybrid of a light tank with an armored personnel carrier. And, it would seem, that's great, automatic guns, anti-ballistic and anti-fragmentation armor, and also carries infantry. But the BMP is still an auxiliary vehicle to support the actions of tanks and infantry, it is not a light tank, although the BMP has a lot in common with them. M8 Armored Gun System Also known as Buford, from B. The tank is not new, it was planned to be put into service back in the 80s as a replacement for the M551 Sheridan light assault tanks, which were a good vehicle, but there was clearly little bulletproof armor after Vietnam, and also to serve in reconnaissance of tank units. Light infantry needed a powerful fire system with sufficient protection against automatic cannon and RPG fire. The new system received a separate designation as the Armored Gun System, something like Armored Fire Support System. But the program was cancelled in the 90s because it was expensive. The Americans preferred to invest more in aviation, drones and other high-tech, there was no point in spending money on a relatively new land system without large land conflicts clear in the future, as it seemed to them. They forgot about the M8. In the new competition MPF, Mobile Protected Firepower, Mobile Protected Fire Suppression, B did not think long and dug up this tank. But the system was revised towards, modularity. And what do you want, where without modularity? The weight limit was set at 32 tons, but the military wants everything at once, as usual, so the car received three sets of protection. The main first is an aluminum body, like the BMP-3 or VDV Schnoy equipment, with bulletproof and anti-fragmentation protection. This version is adapted for landing with the C-130 and has a mass of 18 tons. Tier 2 armor pack, spaced titanium or expanded metal plates, cheaper for similar stats. It is already capable of resisting heavy machine guns from extremely close distances, DSHK, KPVT and automatic cannons, but from greater distances. The weight is increased by 2 tons, the landing function is lost, but it is still easy to airlift to airfields. Tier 3 Armor Pack, provides era-slash-ceramic blocks to protect against RPGs and other handheld anti-tank weapons. 
weigh 24 tons. This is already for operations in urban combat or the risks of close contact with the enemy. It also provides for easy fastening armor, so that it can be dropped separately and hung by the crew after landing. The main armament is the XM35 105mm cannon with soft recoil and automatic loader, 12 RDS slash min, and you can choose from the menu for it from the entire range of ammunition for this caliber. For less priority targets at close range, Browning 12.7, remotely controlled. It is supplemented by a 7.62 machine gun or AGS. In general, almost similar to Abrams. What else is important for a light tank? That's right, mobility, a fairly ordinary diesel engine for 550 horses at 2,400 rpm is responsible for it. It makes the tank very nimble on the first two sets of protection and delivers a fairly common tier 323 horses per ton. The Detroit Diesel Series 92 is used quite a lot on tractors and some MRAPs, mine-resistant lightweight APCs. General Dynamics Griffin 2, well, or just Griffin. The Griffin is a newer vehicle based on the Ascot BMP chassis, which was created jointly by the Spanish Division of General Dynamics and the Austrian Stair Daimler Puck. British Infantry Fighting Vehicles and Light Reconnaissance Tanks, as well as infantry fighting vehicles from Austria and Spain, are produced on this platform. Little is known about the armor of this thing, but it is already clear that it is more thorough. It is known from Ascot vehicles already put into service that the main armor provides protection against 14.5 mm KPVT, from 500m in the frontal projection and partially on board at 6.0, while it is supplemented by active protection units. The Austrian Ulan Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which is produced on the same base, implemented Mexis composite armor, it holds 30mm BOPs, subcaliber armor-piercing crowbars, from 1000 meters in the frontal projection, and 14.5 millimeters everywhere. At the same time, it also has internal inserts that protect the crew from the armor action of fragments, absorbing a significant part of them when they break through. Regardless of what happens in the Griffin, it is clear that the protection has moved significantly ahead of just bulletproof. This is also evidenced by the mass, it will be at least 28 to 32 tons and most likely will increase to 38 tons. That is, an additional canopy of composite armor or the same active protection blocks is provided. But the most important thing is the tower. It differs from the M8 much more radically, despite the fact that it has similar weapons, we will not repeat it. It is for her form that Griffin has already received the nickname Mini Abrams. And it is really a reduced copy of the Abrams M1A2 SCPV-3 turret, only converted to an automatic loader, so you can be sure that it holds 30 mm shelling well at close ranges from all projections, and probably more. But September 3rd also appears here for a reason. This indicates a similar filling of this tower, a fire control system, a thermal imager with a matrix of the latest generation, high definition displays, the ability to use programmable multi-purpose ammunition, that is, the combat capabilities are almost similar to the latest Abrams modification, adjusted for the smaller caliber of the gun, now American MBTs are equipped with 120mm. It's hard to talk about mobility. Based on the latest Ascot engines, these are 800 horsepower diesels. This, with 32 tons, gives a specific 25 liters. With per ton of weight, not bad by modern standards, but these data have long become the norm for main tanks, MBT. In short, although the tank turned out to be light, but not super mobile. So why are they, these MPFs? So, as already mentioned at the beginning of the article, the choice fell on Griffin 2. Bay's mistake was probably that they sent an airborne vehicle to the tender, and the military did not want this, so they chose a car that was heavier back-to-back -back suitable for airlift using the C-130 Hercules. The Americans were looking for a vehicle to equip the Brigade Combat Team or BCT, Brigade Combat Team, for a light tank. That's right, mobility, a fairly ordinary diesel engine for 550 horses at 2,400 rpm is responsible for it. 
It makes the tank very nimble on the first two sets of protection and delivers a fairly common tier 323 horses per ton. The Detroit Diesel Series 92 is used quite a lot on tractors and some MRAPs, mine-resistant lightweight APCs.